as the rapper Ludacris would say, stand up. This is the 3M Easy Adjust Dual Monitor Arm, model number MA260MB from 3M. This is an awesome tool for your computer and studios. Welcome everybody, a product review from Spike Studio. This time we're going to be taking a look at from 3M. It's actually a dual monitor arm. I can't pick up the box because, well, I can. So we'll take it. It's just a big brown box. I expected there was another box on the inside. There was another box on the inside, but to give you an idea where we put it together, and we may show the finished product or we may show putting it together, is a dual monitor stand that 3M makes. This is model MA260MB. There is a 240MB, which is a single stand arm. This one sits on your desk. It provides the ability for you to have two monitors there. You can run the cables down the back. Gives you a little flexibility with easy snap on and snap off. So let's look at the setup, look at the finished product, and talk about ease of assembly and ease of use. So we'll blend over and it's been a couple days now since we actually installed the dual monitor stand from 3M that we originally opened. Uh, reason being is one, uh, the diagramming sucked. Just to be honest with you, it was a little bit more difficult to just get everything in the way you want it to be and it didn't explain things. Some of the diagrams were small and you weren't able to really figure out what they were telling you even though there's only like four or five pieces to the whole thing. Now we're going to take a look here at the video on the side and you'll be able to see what we did. What we did was we actually screwed on the optional plate to the back that allows you to quick snap, meaning I screw the plate under the monitor then use that plate to mount to the 3M stand. The reason for that is I'm able to quickly snap a monitor off if I need to move it or do whatever and not worrying about having to unscrew it and do everything else. It's a great addition. I recommend that you actually use those quick snap plates on the back. It only made it easier. Just make sure you use the right screw. There's a 5 16 screw and a half inch. 5 16 is when you're going to screw the plate directly into your monitor. The half inch is when you use those quick snap plates. Uh, I love them. I think the way that they work is brilliant. The idea, and I don't know why I wouldn't do it. I can't think of a reason why I would permanently mount this to the back of a monitor for any reason. I want the ability to change it and move it. What else did I realize? Uh, the tubing. So we have the tubing itself that actually then covers up the cords that run. You've got to make sure you turn it the right way when you put it back. If you pop them all off and lay them down and you jumble them around, you don't realize which way they need to just put them on, make sure down, and I laid them straight down. They have actual little snaps inside the backs of them which allow you to tuck the cord into them and then you can wrap the cord down around the snaps in the bottom of the pole. That's another one. Uh, otherwise, it was easy to move. I'd have to play with the torque a little bit on some of the sides to get it to balance properly. The weight of your monitor, including if it has the stand on it still, including if you use the snap plate, the quick snap on the back, all of that plays into the weight. It should be easy to move and go. What I found was putting it uh, in a V position would sometimes spring back up. All I did was use the included Allen wrench to change the torque. A lot of that wasn't very clear in the documentation. It made mentions to it, but it didn't actually show you exactly what you needed to do. There were some good documentation about if you totally needed to take apart the caps and do work, but I just wanted the simple fixes. The only thing I did was I added in a longer DVI cord because I wanted to run it up and down the cabling system to hide it entirely and run it down. So I actually bought that through the Amazon as well to add it in because I needed to mount it way across from where the plugs would be. And that's the last piece is the mount. The mount itself that you can see actually had two modes. One, you could actually have a hole through a desk and use it that way. The second one was a clamp. The diagram for the clamp sucked. You had to turn it in the hooks and it looks the same both directions. Eventually, figured it out, put the bolt through, screwed it in, it's mounted to the desk, it's sturdy, it's not going anywhere. Now when I'm in the studio, I'm able to turn monitors, I can turn the landscape and portrait with ease, I'm able to move them up really easy, down, a little bit more of a press, and I do it at the arm bar, not on your monitor. Uh, it's able to tilt back and forth. So overall, the 3M stand is great. It comes in the couple main parts, so it's mainly the post, with the actual brackets for underneath or mounting through, and then the two bars that go to your monitors and the quick plates. There's a couple smaller screws to screw it into the monitors and pieces like that, but overall that big box that we started with had everything it needed inside of it, spread outside the box, got rid of it, there was not extra packaging or anything else it needed to do. Performance is great and sturdy. Make sure you mount that plate to something very, very sturdy or thick on the sides, only because as you're pushing on those bars, you don't ever want to break off the edge of a table and you will, because remember you're putting all that weight on there that's supporting it for across the bars. So another product review from Spike Studio, please click the link and at least let us know on Amazon that you enjoyed and these reviews are helpful. If you have other products you want us to review, let us know in the notes or send us another email. And if you are a product owner, get in touch. We'll be glad to take a look at it. Thanks again.